recently I've been playing through a lot of Game Boy, thanks to the fact that I'm playing through Zelda Link's Awakening for the first time. I've been meaning to get around to Zelda for like the past 20 years, and with the Link's Awakening remake I thought, let's play the OG game first. But it did get me thinking, just before I put the cartridge in, I decided which Game Boy should I actually play on. The Game Boy family covers a wide variety of Game Boy consoles, so if you're in the market for a Game Boy, which one is the best one to pick up first? Kick off your shoes and relax your socks while we discuss the best Game Boy to buy. So the Game Boy started life as this wonderful brick right here. And I call it brick, but I call it brick in the most loving way possible. Because this thing is just, it's a thing of pure beauty. There's something about the size, the feel, there's something about the buttons, the clickiness, and there's even something about that horrible puke green screen. There's no game in there right now. Actually, let's put a game in there. So you get your four batteries, and I would totally advise if you're going to get one of these, you get the rechargeable batteries. But anyway, you need four batteries, your cart, when we switch it on, don't know if you're going to see this, but the whole point is you probably can't see it very well. Let's turn this bad boy up. Listen to that. But anyway, I don't know how well you can make out, but it's just like green, horrible green look to it. And the thing is, there's no backlight to this console. So this is the OG Game Boy, and I absolutely love this thing, but in all honesty, if you're looking to buy yourself your first Game Boy, I probably wouldn't go for one like this. The main reasons being is that, like I said, you need to have batteries. Unless you've got rechargeable ones, it can be a right pain. Second of all, there's no backlight and you only have the option of the, the lime puke green, some people call it, graphics as well. So as amazing as this is and as much as I love it, I wouldn't recommend this one to be your first Game Boy console anyway. Now next up, and I'm going to class these two together, you got your Game Boy Pockets and you got your Game Boy Colors. I'm going to just focus on the Game Boy Color because this is a brilliant little console. Now a big improvement on the DMG01 because it only takes two AA batteries. So already that's a bit of a win. Now the next thing about these is that you might not be bothered about this kind of stuff, but they come in a range of colors. Whereas the original Game Boy, in all its bricky gloriness, was this lovely kind of like monochromatic gray color. Your Game Boy colors come in a range of wonderful different colors. And as you can see here, the size comparison is pretty impressive as well. It's slimmer, it's got a little bit of a, it's got a nice ass to it. So you can fit those batteries in, but it's slimmer overall and it's smaller. I think it's got a slight, I don't think there's much, I think it's got a slightly smaller screen on the Game Boy Color. But if it has got a slightly smaller screen, then it makes up for it in the fact that it's color. So let's take a look. Switch this bad boy on. It's already a bit more vibrant in terms that what it does with the original Game Boy games is it adds a little bit of a lick of color. Now, I don't know how well you can see it, probably not that well to be honest. So I'm going to hit up some B-roll. but. What it does do is that it takes those original Game Boy games that weren't designed to have color and it gives a little bit of, throws a bit of paint in there here and there to make them a little bit more lively, which is wonderful, it's really nice. But what it also enables you to do is to play all the Game Boy color games. So not only are you playing your original Game Boy games on this with a little lick of paint, you also have access to even more Game Boy games, the Game Boy Color games. So already this is a step up and a big improvement over the DMG-01. And unless you have pure nostalgia for the DMG-01, I'd definitely be recommending this one over getting yourself the original Game Boy. However, there's another console that came out that might be a little bit more appealing. And that is the Game Boy Advance. Now what you can see straight away, let me just get them for comparison's sake, Completely different form factor to the um, to the Game Boy Color and the DMG01. Instantly easier to play with this form factor, and the screen is a lot bigger in a different aspect ratio as well. Now the Game Boy Advance is technically a different console. It's the next generation of Game Boy, 
I suppose the Game Boy Color was the next generation of Game Boy, but I kind of always see them as a similar category, but really, I guess it's the next generation because they've got different games. But the Game Boy Advance takes completely different cards. It takes these smaller ones. Let me just go find one. I found my Mother 1-2 um, Repro here, and what you see here, completely different card type. Much smaller, same width, but much, much, much shorter than the original Game Boy cards. And these plug nicely into the Game Boy Advance. So there you are with your new Game Boy Advance games, good to go. But the great thing about the Game Boy Advance, and the reason I'm making this episode is because once again, it's backwards compatible. And you can slot in your Game Boy cart, you can slot, you can slot in your Game Boy Color cart, or you can slot in your Game Boy Advance carts. Once again, the Game Boy Advance takes two AA batteries. So up until now, all the Game Boys have required that you have batteries and now like I say I would advise if you got one of these that you'd be going for your rechargeable batteries. It saves a lot of money to be honest. But if we go ahead and switch this one on, what you can see is that it maintains the aspect ratio of the original Game Boy Color by having the black borders. It does the same thing with the Game Boy games that enables you to actually throw a little bit of paint on those original Game Boy games. But really the improvement for this for a Game Boy game is the aspect ratio. Once again this is not backlit. And up until now, these generations of Game Boys, the issue has been that they're not backlit. It makes it really difficult to play unless you've got a light source directly above you. Now you can get these little extra clip on things that kind of, you can magnify the screen and light it, or you can just have like a little light that hovers over the top and lights the screen, which is great, but it drains the battery life and it's a little bit of a hassle having something hanging off your Game Boy. Now on that point, I do need to say there's the Game Boy Lite that you can get. I don't have one of those currently right now. And what that essentially is, it's like a Game Boy Pocket, similar to the size of the Game Boy Color, but that gives you a backlit screen. Now that is a really good option. If you like this style of console, the Game Boy Color style of console, this form factor, and if you're not bothered about Game Boy Advance games, that is a really good option. And in that range of consoles, it's probably the best one to go for if you can get your hands on one. But what we're discussing is the best console covering the whole range of them. So that one just misses the mark. So you might be wondering, okay, we've got the Game Boy Advance, and other than the Game Boy Lite, none of the consoles so far have a, a backlit screen. So which ones do? This is where we come on to the next couple of consoles. Now, another little nifty console in the Game Boy lineup is the Game Boy Advance Micro. Now, this is the last console that was released in the Game Boy lineup, and I've skipped a generation here. You might be able to guess because the, uh, the one I'm gonna highlight is the best one is one of those. So, just jumping ahead a little bit to cover this. Now, this is a great little console. Really nice small form factor. It does away with the batteries. You've got a rechargeable battery pack, so that's really cool. It's got a backlit screen. Let's see if this has got any charge. It's got a wonderful backlit screen. I mean, this is a beautiful little console. I can't remember what game's in this. Mario vs Donkey Kong classic game. This is a wonderful little console, but there's one big problem. Oops. <laughs> it only takes Game Boy Advance games. You can't plug in Your good old Zelda Link's Awakening and play. It just won't push in and I'm not gonna try because I'll break it and these things are pretty expensive. But yeah, unfortunately, with the Game Boy Advance Micro, you've only got access to the Game Boy Advance games. So that instantly takes it away from being a contender for the best Game Boy console. Which is a shame because I mean, if it wasn't for that, this probably would have been the number one top spot. But that leaves me with the Game Boy Advance SP. And that's this little beast right here. The Game Boy Advance SP is a completely different form factor to all the other ones before. It's a flip clamshell style one. And you can see when it opens up, it's a bit more similar to your classic Game Boy style of console, as you can see there, as opposed to the one that came before it, which was the Game Boy Advance, which is that one there. Now for some people, well for most people, and I'd 100% agree, Holding this is less comfortable than the Game Boy Advance. However, there's a couple of reasons why the Game Boy Advance SP, in my opinion, is the best Game Boy to go out and buy if you want to start Game Boy collecting. And the reasons are, it takes all of the Game Boy games. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. The second and one of the most important things is that it's got the wonderful backlit screen. And I'm going to talk about the backlit screen a little bit more in a second. 
because there's something to know about that. There's two different versions of the Game Boy Advance SP. But the third and final big improvement, again, is the fact that this is rechargeable. You don't need batteries. You just plug in your charger, charge it up and good to go. And honestly, I've been playing Zelda Link's Awakening now for probably straight on a month to two months. And granted, it's half an hour here and half an hour there whenever I can squeeze it in. However, the battery is still going strong. These things are absolute beasts. It's, it's pretty phenomenal, to be honest. And it doesn't lose its power as you've got it switched on as well. It seems to just hold it. Some consoles, some batteries, the power can trickle away over time. Most notably for me are things like the, the PSP and the PS Vita. This thing just keeps on hold to its charge all day long. Now I wanna go back to the screen because this is the Game Boy Advance SP AGS 001. And this is the one I'm recommending. Now, before you all go crazy out there, those who know about the AGS 101, yes, that is a better screen. That's a true backlit screen. I might have said this was backlit before. If I did, I was wrong because this is frontlit. The AGS 101 is a backlit screen and it gives it a really nice even glow. It's the best screen by far of the Game Boy family. However, I would personally recommend that if you're going out to buy a Game Boy, your first Game Boy to start Game Boy collecting, you just go for the AGS 001. And the reason is, the front of the screen does a great job. There's no point in time where you're playing this and thinking, this isn't well lit enough, this isn't nice. Granted, if you've got the two side by side, the 101 and the 001, the 101 is gonna look better. No doubt about it. However, this thing on its own is just fantastic. You can also switch off the screen light which is handy if you want to save the battery. But again, I must admit, I actually haven't switched off the light and it, the battery's still going strong. But the reason I'm recommending the AGS 001 is because they're so much easier to find than the 101s and they're a lot cheaper. So if you're starting Game Boy collecting, like most of us out there, you probably don't want to break the bank. You want to save your money to buy your Game Boy games. You don't want to spend all that extra cash just making sure you've got a slightly better screen. So for that reason, I fully recommend that the Game Boy Advance AGS 001 is the best Game Boy to go out and buy.